so we're here today. We're going to be performing a bone marrow aspirate concentrate in order to obtain some stem cells from a patient that we have who's suffering from a few different locations of pain in her back as well as her left knee. So you can see in the back we're setting up everything for the room and we're going to start on the procedure in just a moment. All right, so we're about to numb the area that we're going to go in on. You're going to feel a little bit of a pinch here. And we're just going to numb the actual skin. We're going to try to get as deep down as possible with that numbing. We're going to insert a spinal needle down to that level too. Danielle, if you could take a picture, please. So that's right on the money. We're just going to go all the way down to the bone, which we're at right now. And we're going to give a little bit more numbing medicine to the area here as well. We're going to let that sit and kind of diffuse for a little bit of time. So we have the kit here. We have all the different components of the things we're going to use for the procedure. So the kit comes with a needle that we use to draw up various components. Uh, we have a couple of 60 cc or milliliter syringes here that we're going to use to basically get from what we take in the little syringes and put in big syringes. All of these are filled with one cc of ACDA or anticoagulant in here that's going to help the blood not um, clot at this point. This is the needle that we're going to use. The skin is already very numb and this is actually very sharp to get into the area to draw out the bone marrow concentrate. And we just use a mallet a little bit to kind of tap in to get to deeper levels of the bone. All right, so we're gonna take out this spinal needle and then we're gonna use the track to get the gem sheathing needle in. It should be relatively easy to do that. I'm gonna try to contact bone, which I'm on right now. And I'm gonna have Danielle just take a quick picture to see that we're on point. Very good. Let's just take another one just to double check. Now that I made a little bit more purchase picture. Good, so I like that. We're just gonna tap in at this level right now. And it's actually going in quite easily. So let's just see where it pictures that picture. And I'm barely tapping and it's going through the picture. I'm going to start on this again. There we go. That's what we wanted. All right. Excellent. Yeah, I can tell that. more. Yeah, just like that. So if you want to just set that on here. So the aspiration is now over. We have everything that we need. Um, you get a little bit woozy with blood, maybe you shouldn't look over here, but um, that's basically what we're pulling out. So we just have to process this in a centrifuge. It takes about 15 minutes. At that time, we'll have the syringes ready with the actual bone marrow aspirate concentrate that contains the stem cells, and we're gonna re-inject it back to the patient. And I'm real well for you. Let's just see where we're at angle-wise, for sure. It felt like it popped right into the joint there. So that one's placed. Let's place the left 045 facet joint as well, please. All right, so we basically placed two of the needles. This one's in the 045 facet joint. This one's in the sacroiliac joint. Um, if we just kind of direct the video to the screen here, you can see kind of towards the bottom, a little bit on the left, you can see the needle and there's a little bit of contrast material that is traversing the sacroiliac joint. So we know that we're actually in the space. And this is your A2M and your IRAP. Which, where is that? <clears throat> so it's, um, this is A2M, IRAP, all those proteins, and we're just taking the water out of it right now. So you'll start seeing water, see the water trickle there? Just gonna go back and forth a bunch of times, and every time it's gonna get a little bit less and a little bit less. And for the people watching, where is that A2M derived from? It's from the plasma portion of the blood. This is a portion that most devices actually have to throw away because they're not able to do this. So this is a really important part of the regenerative medicine 
that just gets tossed in the trash most times because there's not the correct technology to take advantage of it. Putting some stem cell into the actual uh, secret of the actual joint right now. I'm gonna try to get, if I can, if it will afford me, try to get three cc's of it in there. I did about one so far, about two so far, about three so far. And we're gonna do the same thing for this L4, L5 set joint. Except I'm gonna do a little bit less, I think, into this joint. Maybe about a cc and a half. Do you start feeling a lot of pressure? Yeah, it, it gets hard. It's it gets more. So I'm going to stop there. Um, Alright, so we're going to leave that. And I think we're going to try to put a little bit of the A2M in there as well once it's 100% prepared.